It is Antonio Brown's first week of NFL football um, since being canned by the Patriots last year. Uh, the Buccaneers play the Saints at home in, on Sunday night. You'll have Evans and Antonio on the field together. Godwin is hoping to be back in week nine, recovering from a fractured index finger surgery. Um, man, where do you think AB finishes rest of season? Is he a wide receiver two or better? Um, I'd like to go on record and say that I, I don't think Antonio Brown is a very good human being. Um, oh, so yeah, I, that's I would just not like debatable. to start off the conversation with that. Uh, yep. He's kind of a piece of crap. Um, yep. When it comes to fantasy football, um, I mean, he could be really good. Um, I, I I compare him a lot to Aroldis Chapman uh, as I celebrate the Cubs winning the World Series four years ago today, where... Uh, if you have him, you're rooting for him um, because he's on your team. And if you uh, don't have him on your team, you should root against him. Um, so from a from a fantasy perspective, though, um, I think he could be a, a wide receiver one um, if he's back to what he has been historically. Um because Tom Brady's thrown to a bunch of nobodies with Scotty Miller, and there was somebody else that I'd never heard of that was that had four catches tonight uh, in the first half. And Tyler Johnson, um, Mike Evans has a look. No, it was somebody. It was somebody else. Uh, I, I honestly don't know who it was. Um, and Mike Evans has been hurt, and Godwin's got a bad hand, and Tom Brady loves him some some Antonio Brown. So um yeah i would not be surprised to see him be a wide receiver two at worst um with wide receiver one upside yeah it's gonna be crazy i just i don't think tom or that offense will be able to support like there's no way they support three wide receiver ones let alone two and gronk yeah and gronk there's no way so i i i don't know I don't know what the answer is. It's not going to be great. I feel like Mike Evans is the odd man out because he has been every time Godwin's played. I feel like Godwin's role is pretty set. Gronk is a nice red zone threat. And then it's just about how many plays Evans and AB can make. Um, It only takes one play to be fantasy relevant. So what an incredible offense that's going to be. But yeah, I absolutely second everything you said about Antonio Brown being scumbag of the year. Um, I, I can't believe that he was even signed really, but yeah, they're and you know, their schedule the rest of the way is, is pretty damn good. Um, home against new Orleans next week at Carolina, the Rams, Kansas city, they have their bye week week 13. And my God, man, their their playoff matchup, Minnesota at Atlanta at Detroit is just so good. It's obscene. Um, that don't don't be surprised to see, you know, Tom Brady, Antonio Brown potentially win you a, a fantasy title, um, depending on health and whatever craziness Brown causes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then, I mean, you have the emergence of Leonard Fournette, who actually handled 15 carries for 52 yards tonight. Led that backfield in touches. Um, sucks for Ronald Jones. Yeah, after, after, after another Ronald Jones fumble loss on a kind of a weird catch play where he got stripped as he was getting up. Um, but yeah, they, uh, they might be leaning more on Fournette going forward. Wouldn't be surprising. Out touched him fifteen to seven from running back carries on the night. Just man, wow. Um, yeah. Whoa! Didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.